honored to be here with you and the members of the Colorado delegation. I want to acknowledge uh, your presence as well as the presence of Senator Gardner, as well as Congresswoman DeGette, whom we have heard from, uh, Representative Ed Perlmutter, uh, Representative Jonah Goose, and Representative uh, Jason Crow. Uh, and to all of the members of the Colorado delegation, thank you for this beautiful contribution uh, to this celebration, a celebration of growth, of hope, and of peace. Uh, as you know, uh, many years ago, as was mentioned by the distinguished uh, architect of the Capitol, 1964, the Speaker of the House, McCormick, decided that we should have a tree, a tree of peace, a tree of hope. And he called it the Capitol Christmas tree. And for over five decades, Americans have come together and especially in difficult times to find joy and seek solace in what was called the people's tree. Now, tonight, we gather once more before this symbol of peace and hope to give thanks for the blessings bestowed upon our great nation. And we do so, we say a prayer for all who cannot celebrate with the comfort of their friends and families around them, uh, but for those, and for those who have lost their lives and livelihood this year. I thank the Colorado delegation and the people of Colorado for blessing our capital's Christmas celebration with this magnificent Engelman spruce from the Gmug Forest. On behalf of the House, I send my best wishes to Governor Polis and First Gentleman uh, Marlin uh, Reese uh, for a speedy recovery. And thank you, Brett Blanton, architect of the Capitol, and Vicki Christensen, U.S. Forest Service Chief, for your work to bring this tree to the Capitol for this special ceremony. You see the size of the tree. It's a logistical miracle almost that it gets here so intact. And here we are, this beautiful miracle. Uh, so here we are, and I'm going to do the countdown. Now, ordinarily, I would be accompanied by a child from Colorado who helps select and decorate the tree. But of course, the pandemic prevents that special aspect of this from happening. Alessandro Wilson is a fourth grader from Lafayette, Colorado, uh, that would have been the child to be here. So I feel as if we are all representing uh, Alessandro Wilson uh, uh, here tonight, as he would be with me uh, to do this countdown. It's a very, very, uh, very exciting moment. See how beautiful the tree is, how magnificently it is decorated, as Congresswoman DeGette referenced. And now we're going to see it in a brighter light. Are you ready for the countdown, everyone? Okay, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> 